Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So, KSA 2024 counselling process has started and you are in the phase of option entry now. So, it is very important to have an overview of or to understand the KSA counselling process completely. So, in this video, I'll be explaining all the steps involved in the KSA counselling so that you don't have any confusion at any point of time. So, first is download so let us see the uh, so this info this is there this flowchart is there in the information bulletin released by the kea in their official website okay so you can download it you can see and you can cross check it so first is the downloading of verification slip i think everybody would have done that so once you have downloaded the, just check that all the details in your verification slip are correct and in the verification slip you will be getting the secret key which you must save it okay which you should keep it confidential now after this the entry of options by the candidates by the eligible candidates so that is the phase which you are right now so you have to enter all the your options so what is option entry so option entry means giving a list or giving a list of all the colleges and courses that you prefer to join next is based on the priority of the options entered by the candidate the allotment will take place okay that is why option entry is very important and you must do proper research while doing the option entry next after the option entry date is over you will be allotted a mock seat allotment results will be coming so mock seat means what it will tell you that if this preference list is there then what is the probability or which college or course you may get but again this is not final it may change in the final allotment okay so that is what is given so after the mock allotment results are out you can add delete or modify or rearrange the options okay so after mock allotment again you can change it so once this is done you have to finally save options will be used for seat allotment so after this there will be round one seat allotment results will be published after the round uh, mock allotment there will be round one seat allotment real allotment here so whatever seat you get in this case that is the uh, college or the course offered to you now here there are two things that okay so now if you see we have two cases here so either you get any seat in the first term or you do not get any seat in the first term so if you get any seat in the first term then you have four choices available okay you have to do any of these four choices you have to do if you have participated in the counseling process choice one is you are happy with the college that is offered to you happy with the course that is offered to you and you want to join the college okay so in that case you have to select choice one and in this case if you select choice one you will not be eligible to participate in the further counseling round round two means what uh, sorry choice two means what you are satisfied but you are hoping that you may get a better college in this case you have to uh, if you select choice two you should not join the college okay you will not join the college that is allotted to you you can participate in the further counseling rounds and your seat that you have been allotted to you in the first term is with you okay if you do not get any seat in the round two the seat that you got in the round one will remain with you now choice 3 is not satisfied but wish to participate in the second round without holding any seat means in this case what you are doing you are opting for uh, if you select choice 3 you be considered for the round uh, second round of uh, choice filling uh, sorry second round of allotment but the seat that you have received now that you have to lose okay you cannot keep it and go to the next round okay and the fourth one is you are not satisfied at all and you are exiting from the counseling process Okay. now if you so after doing this what will happen again there will be there will be second round uh, second round seat allotment so you will give one more chance you can edit your preferences you can edit your choices everything and then second round seat allotment process will start and then second round seat allotment results will be published so once this is done so one second so you can see here yeah, once this is done so seat allotted select the appropriate choice so again the four choices are available for you so here you can see that if you are satisfied with the seat that is allotted to you you can uh, uh, take that you can choose this option you will report to the college and you will not be considered for the next round now in the choice two you are satisfied but wish to sorry you are satisfied but wish to participate in the second round by holding the allotted seat so in this case you have to pay the fees and should not join the college but wait for the next round so in the choice two of first round you need not pay any fee but choice two after the second round you have to pay the fees okay and third round 
not satisfied but wish to participate in the second extended round without holding a seat so that is also there you are rejecting the seat that is offered to you right now and you are going to participate in the next round in this case also you do not have to pay any fee now the fourth one is you are not satisfied and you are exiting from the counseling process now after this again there will be a chance to will be given to all the candidates to modify the options so after this this students and the students are out of the counseling process okay these two students can again modify their choices and they have to wait for the second extended round or casual vacancy round seat allotment results there will not be any choice to select candidates have to compulsorily join the selected college okay after this there is no further uh, uh, choice filling or nothing whatever college is all allotted to you in the extended round that you have to accept okay so these are the processes of the choice filling and of the entire case at counseling process if you have any doubt please comment down we'll definitely address it so this is one of the most important step of the whole counseling process so please do it seriously take proper time proper research before doing your option entry and uh, if you need any other help please comment down we'll definitely address it thank you for watching and please subscribe the channel for more updates